Hello, my name's Fraser and I'm with Lonesome Dog Studios and today we're going to be looking at clip gaining sibilance in Pro Tools. So this is just a quick and effective way at taming some harsher sounds in a vocal recording, maybe not an optimal vocal recording. If you put in this manual work before you start processing your vocal normally, I find that you get uh, slightly better results. So it's worth, worth going in and giving it the attention. So the way it works is we'll jump into our vocal and we'll just give the raw take a little listen. I thought Now I am left in turn I see again to battle with the wind. So fortunately that's not the most problematic recording, which is obviously always the goal when you are recording, but you will inevitably come across some problems. So the way to deal with some of those problems is to get right up into the waveform like this, zoom in, and then it's quite easy to actually see where the sibilance is. It's not too difficult. So if we just isolate this phrase at the start. I thought, I thought. So you can see where he's using his chest, the waveform's quite big, but where the sibilance is in the middle, it's quite a small amount. But what we have to do is we can just select it like that, and then in Pro Tools, we can press Command E, and that will chop that section out. And then in my experience, anywhere between 5 and 7 dB less than the rest of the take usually pulls it down enough where it's no longer so much of a problem. But obviously we don't want to completely remove it because then your vocal's gonna sound very strange. So what we'll do now is we'll pull that down. And then it's very important also to zoom a little bit further in and just throw a tiny little crossfade at each end of it so we don't get any nastiness. And then if we check that out again. I thought I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I So it just pulls down the sibilance just, just enough so that it's not in your ears whilst you're doing it, which I think is pretty neat. So next what you'll want to do is you'll want to go through the whole vocal take and repeat that process when you find the problem areas. And like I said, this particular recording wasn't the most problematic recording. So there's only, what, four or five small sections. But what we'll do is we'll go to the mix window, disable the plugins and the sends, so we can A, B them. One with the uh, sibilance clip gained and one without. So here is the raw vocal. I thought you hated her. Now I Like I said, not very offensive, but then we'll check out the next one with the clip gain automation. I thought you hated her. Now I am left in time. So it's very gentle at this point, but one of the main reasons we are doing the clip gain is so that as we start processing the vocal, the Plugins are actually having to do a little bit less work dealing with some of those frequencies, some of those transient sounds. If we turn on the processing for this channel and unmute that, this is what the vocal is sounding like. And this is the non-automated one. I thought you hated her. Now I am left in so 
So without those clip gain automations, you can see up here that the deesser is working a lot harder and it will also be affecting the compressor slightly differently than the clip gain vocal. So that was just a quick run through on how I clip gain out my sibilance of my vocal tracks in Pro Tools. Hopefully that's been helpful. I've been Fraser with Lonesome Dog Studios and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.